Hey everyone, it's Krista, and today we're talking about a new creature for Prehistoric Beast, Vaculites. So over here I have the two variants. Normal Vaculites, which spawns in ocean, obviously, across different maps. And X Vaculites, which spawns in the ocean biome on Genesis 1. Here's a good look at them, as well as a saddle. You know, well, they handle a lot like a Tuso. Um, so you ride them, they move one direction, but if you attack, for example, this is the traditional attack, which is left click, then you know they'll face your direction. You hold space and they turn back around. If you hold right click, they also turn around and they do a grab attack. Now, unlike Tuso, this is a much smaller drag weight. Think mid to small size creatures. Still players, but not big things like Tuso. In addition, Baculites is not aggressive, so it won't actively go after you unless you piss it off. So don't attack it. Uh, in addition, they have two other unique abilities. Uh, they can turn on and off glowing. I just turned it on, and I'll probably keep it on for the rest of the time because it's pretty. Uh, the ocean variant has a different pattern. Uh, they don't move terribly fast, but they do have a nice quick pace to them. The next ability I'm going to need a little more space for, I'm going to go under here, is their drill attack. Now this has two different features. You're moving, and you hit, oh, the water end there. Gotta love the arc dev kit. Anyways, if you hit C, if you're not moving, you'll do a basic spin attack. But if you are moving, it will pull you forward unless you've already done the attack. So since I already did the attack, I have a buff now. It's not showing up. But I can't do that spin attack speed boost 60 more seconds. This attack great for mining things. So Dunkleosteus can also mine underwater. So can Vaculites. Hence the little drill tip at the end. If you see when that buff is not activated, it's not showing up for some reason, but it is there, then you'll quickly sploosh forward, much like Tranodon or Siamosaurus. This does stun, so if you're in a pickle, you can do a quick stun. Think of it as similar to Tuso's ink attack, but no ink, and it spins like a drill. Okay. So, they have some cool abilities that also happen, but only when wild. So. Go grab that. And actually, I'll pull up this guy, and I'll show you that C attack. Um, they also have, um, they make oil and shelf ride wheels. I can still ride this one because I spawned in them manually, but you do need a saddle to ride them. There it is. So here's, you need to be able to see. I'm too shallow, I guess. So, yeah, there you go. It, it would be faster. Water's too shallow, but if you use any of my other creatures, then I'm sure you know what I'm talking. But they do handle the same, they just look a little different. And they have very shells. If you do kill them, you also do get some oil and oil fragments. So they are a passive tame. So, but to tame them, you're going to need another creature. This is Lubila. I'm going to call it Lula. They're hard to say. Whatever. And they have three variants. Normal, lunar, yes, you heard that right, lunar. So those ponds up in the lunar biome in Gen 1, I'm not sure you can find it. So yeah, you have like, like shimmers, like there's stars. Kind of like how the whale has its inner organs showing. You can see this guy's fish bones and, and stuff. And then the sunken variant, which is on the sunken, uh, the sunken world, DSW, if you use that map. Or you can just have it for kicks and giggles. So, these guys are also Path of Tame, and they're just like basic kibble, super simple, easy peasy. And they have two functions, Swim Assist and Tame Helping. So Swim Assist is this little here. Think of it like Dolphin's Grace from um, Minecraft. With this on, I can swim even faster. Now it only applies to... Um, 
to players and not to um, creatures, so it only affects you. Then their second thing, which is tame helping. Like Namangasaurus, they can help speed up tames. Um, obviously, the benefit of Lula is that it's underwater. You can't really take a Namangasaurus underwater or it will drown. So that's the advantage, and they look cool. Uh, Lunar is my favorite variant. So, yeah, they all are. So, what you're gonna need, first of all, is you're gonna need to tame one of these. Again, passive tame, they're, they're neutral, you need to swim up and feed them. I mean, can't get more, much more basic than that. They do have gangs, so, I don't know, but they're, they mean, they're basic little fish. Um, mostly used for tame helping and as well as baculites, especially. So, I'm going to spawn in a wild Baculites and show you something about them. Sorry about that, folks. A little fun technical difficulty. Best part of the dev kit. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spawn in a wild Baculites. And right off the bat, you can see it says ride. So you can ride on a wild Baculites. Um, you can't control it. You can't do much. You just kind of ride it. It's the vibe. So you can't ride them, you can't tame them this way, they're just, they're just there. It's a fun little thing. If you've watched the Seven Deadly Sins, uh, starring Nigel Marvin, then you'll know what I'm talking about when that little pink prompt pops up. Anyways, now this guy wants, currently wants to sit in there, well, and now he wants to move. Anyways, if you want to be its friend, you're going to need to bring your Lula Beetle around, Lula, whatever. And you're going to enable Tame Helping, okay? And then you're going to go find... You need to bring it... Now, a Taming Trap will be really helpful. Um, because... Yep, and now you can see you're going to see something else pop up. And instead of saying Ride, it'll now say Tame with Prime Fish Meat. Prime Fish Meat is the preferred food of Baculites. There's no kibble. It is best. So now you will need to keep it in range, so again, a taming trap will be nice. But I didn't build one. They're passive. You know, yeah. Well, now we're look at, looking at this friend. You've seen how to tame them. Uh, they do have a saddle. No, well, not a little They don't have saddles. Um, It's a pretty early game creature. Well, early mid game. So, craft a saddle. Yeah, yes. So, you can craft this friend's saddle at level 30 for 18 engram points. They're very fun to watch in the wild. Just them um, fully riding around. And both Lulavia and Baculites will be found in the ocean. And will be found in the next prehistoric beast update. Both of the other bug fixes. And now let's go show off their chibis. Uh, like my other creatures, they drop chibis. And in the case of Baculites, if you choose to disable their saddle drops, then they will only drop TVs. There's the Lulubia TV, and then here's the Baculites TV. I mean, their shell is very long, but there they are. Little tiny shelled friends. Well, I hope you had fun learning about this wonderful critter, and that you have fun taming them. I look forward to seeing pictures. Having fun. See you later. Bye.